Look at what happened to Linnaeus in one night. See the amber tone? Tightness, oh, he is evolving, but guess what? I'm gonna have to transfer him to this larger jar, my lemonade dispenser. So, so no lemonade dispenser for a while, but I just collected some moss from the woods. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Oh, you know, I really don't like this idea of moving him. I'm hoping against all hope I don't do something terrible to him. But the problem is that he, if he starts to open up when I'm not around, oh my goodness, this is gonna be a disaster. His wings will be too big for that mason jar. So I'll put a, just a little stick here, something to anchor it on. Oh, I don't know, this is not a good idea. But here goes Linnaeus. I'm so sorry. The only good thing about this is that, oh dear, he's really tight in there. The only good thing about this is that he's on a stick. I'm hoping this stick fits through the opening. It's like delivering a baby. Oh my goodness. I don't want that to come on. Oh no, no, no. Don't come undone on me. Ouch. Sorry, Linnaeus. Oh, look at him. I'll just give you a closer look. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay, Linnaeus, this is your new, new headquarters, your new living quarters for a while. Please come out of that cocoon soon so I can see you and watch you unfold. And I don't think I disturbed him at all. Thank goodness for that strong silk. Oh, thank goodness for that strong silk. Um, I think it looks good chrysalis. Oh, okay. All is well, hopefully. I will keep you posted.